Hey, what's up guys? We are back here on Beer Banter at High Side in Old Town Fairfax. Uh, once again, uh, my last co-host got hit by a bus and died on impact. Take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy <laughs> Tragic. So, um, so tragic. We're, we're rotating through guests. Uh, Dave, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Dave Heltzel. I'm the director of operations at Ocelot Brewing uh, in Sterling, Virginia. Dulles, whatever you want to call it. Kind of in between there. You make good beer. Thank you. We that, appreciate it. That, that, the game room is, I'm going to be honest, the game room is pretty badass. It's been, it's been awesome. Got some games in there now, like 10 pinball machines, five arcade, Golden Tea. We you got, got me hooked on Golden Tea. tea. You got, oh, you got a second Everyone Golden at the breweries hooked yeah, on Golden yeah, Tea at this that, point. Yeah, the game's ridiculous. Though we got cut off last night from our Golden Tea game at a certain bar in Herndon. I'm not naming names, <laughs> but if you sell Bud Light, you're probably not a beer bar. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. So we are, uh, oh Jesus Christ, we're drinking a, uh, a popsicle sour from Untitled Art. Oh, summertime, baby. You wanted to drink this. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to, yeah. I hadn't had it. I've seen it's, it in uh, a lot of places. So. I think it's, it's it's funny that on the label it says it's all natural, and then you watch the color, it pours out. I'm fairly certain there is nothing natural about that. Natural flavors and colors. Not all natural. It These, doesn't, there, there yeah, are you are correct. You are correct. And, and it, it doesn't say right. non-GMO, right. so. You know, probably if you're if you're a vegan, you don't want to drink this beer because I guarantee you there's a lot of milk sugar in it. People love the milk sugar. That's true. You guys don't do that. No, nah, that's not really our thing. I mean, I'm not I'm not against it. I just I'm not a big sweet beer person in general, and obviously that imparts a lot of sweetness with those unfermentable sugars in there. So sure does, and it's it's also odd to put sugar in a sour beer. Who knows, though? We're about to find Let's, out. You know what, yeah, yeah, you know what, man? Let's just, you know what, man? I think we, we're, we're two different ways on this one. I think I'm, god damn it. I hate to like kind of shit on something before we drank it, but this is like not my style of beer, but people like this. People have different palates. I'm know? a big fan of popsicles. I'm an, I'm an old curmudgeon. I really like so, popsicles, so I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be okay with this. That's uh, supernatural color. Oh, very, very natural. Can't see it. It smells like blue raspberry. It definitely <laughs> smells like it smells like high C. It smells it like smells candy. Like, yeah, yeah, like some sort of powdered beverage you would purchase at the grocery store. Um, fuck it. Let's just Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Drinking oh. some candy. It's not as much popsicle as I thought. No, I, I definitely get the blue popsicle layer, but you know, the Rocket Pop's three layers. I feel like I need all three. Oh, it's definitely all three layers. And it, it to me, it finishes a little bit flat. Um, it just stops. There's no sweetness, there's no sour. You just, you, you. It's less sweet than I thought it was gonna it. be, It's honestly, definitely less sweet, yeah. Which I'm really okay with. This is, I'm gonna be honest, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be really, really sweet. It's not that sweet. It's definitely got a little bit of sour. It's I weird though. I wanted another punch of sour, but. It's weird, it almost tastes like, it almost tastes like carbonated, like high C or something, man. Um, yeah, the kid in me wants to love this. Yeah, uh, but were, then the adult in me is like, I don't know if I should be drinking this every day. If I were 11 years old and I wanted to get drunk, I'm like, boom, <laughs> right there. That's, that's, you know, you're in the fifth grade and you're <laughs> hanging out in the woods with your buddies <laughs> and like, not that that ever happened. I think it was in the seventh grade when I got drunk for the first time. But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to hop back in. Yeah, I'm kind of ashamed at how much I like it, to be honest with you. I was totally ready to not enjoy this beer, and, and I, I actually kind of like I think I think White Claw drinkers. <laughs> Definitely in the White Claw realm. I think White Claw drinkers would be into this. Yeah. I guarantee you there is not one single hop that went anywhere near this beer. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, I, 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 don't I don't know if it's even, I don't know, we did the, I don't, I don't know if you saw, we did the, the malt liquor episode earlier in the season, mm -hmm. and I think the malt liquor might be more beer than this is actually beer. It, it's, it's not bad, but I don't know that it's, in Germany, this is definitely not beer. No, this does not fit into the Reinhardt's No, it sure doesn't. So. But uh, you know what, man, you are my guest, so why don't you, why don't you drop a rating first here? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, hmm, mull it over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a three five. I'm not in love with it, but again, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm, a, I'm, 
I kind of keep my ratings low, though. I don't, I don't give things five. No, that's a, that's a, I mean, like often, you know, so. it's like, like on Barstool, the pizza reveal. It's a rookie score if you right. go like, you know, I, uh, I will say, um, I was gonna go low before I drank it. I was literally, I was expecting this to be a two. I'm actually pleasantly surprised it's not a two. Um, it probably tastes a little better coming out of this Fairfax beer garden glass. We have another one of those, you know. We clear out the back parking lot. We get a bunch of people in there. They they have a good time, man. I, I have a good time. Everyone has a good time. It's always fun. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give it. I would have gone two seven five. I'm gonna go three. I think the glassware is enhancing I'm just my generous, experience. I guess with my. But yeah, man. No, I we we appreciate you coming out. Cheers. Thanks for having me, we boys. We appreciate y'all watching. We'll be back soon.